Good evening, scholars and friends. It's time for tonight's bedtime story. Tonight, I will be reading The Quickest Kid in Clarksville, authored by Pat Zietlow Miller and illustrated by Frank Morrison. I'm running in place, listening to my feet pound the pavement, pretending I'm the fastest woman in the world. Of course, Wilma Rudolph, who grew up right in this town is faster than anyone, but I'm the quickest kid in Clarksville, Tennessee, and everyone around here knows it. I'm thinking about tomorrow's parade and wondering what Wilma's three Olympic gold medals would feel like hanging around my neck when a girl I've never seen before comes sashaying my way like she owns the sidewalk and everything on it. She sticks a hand on her hip. I'm Charmaine. I look her up and down. I'm Alta. That's Dee Dee and Little Mo. Got me some new shoes, Charmaine says. Boy, howdy, does she ever. Brand new, only been worn by her shoes with stripes down the sides and laces so white they glow. Shoes to strut in, shoes to run in because Charmaine strutting hard enough to shame a rooster and her legs are just raring to run. These shoes are like Wilma's, she says. My daddy went uptown to get them. I stare at the concrete. I don't have a shoe buying daddy. My sneakers have holes in the soles and laces that never thought to glimmer. I bite my lip. It's okay. Wilma wore a leg brace and flower sack dresses before she got big. Shoes don't make you fast, I say. Charmaine's face tightens. Reckon I'm faster than anyone. I puff up like a spitting cat. She wishes she were Wilma, but I'm the real deal. I point to the mailbox, there and back. We crouch low. Dee Dee and Little Mo count down and we're off. My sneakers slap a sidewalk beat. Wilma Rudolph, Wilma Rudolph. I reach the first box, turn and sprint back. Arms moving, legs grooving. I hear Charmaine huffing and puffing behind me. I do a victory dance while Charmaine glares. I'm still bebopping when she takes off again. To the corner, Charmaine calls over her shoulder. Starting now, I leap after her like a scalded frog. Wilma's come from behind to win some of her races. And so will I, Wilma Rudolph, Wilma Rudolph. When Charmaine reaches the corner, I'm nipping her ankles. Bodies lunge, feet tangle. I fall. Charmaine stays up and wins. Ouch, my toe hurts. Probably cause it's poking out a brand new hole. Just like that, I puff up again. You tripped me. I would have won if you didn't. You were in my lane. I won fair and square. Charmaine walks away, shaking her braids and swinging her bottom. I follow, mad as any cat. That's when it happens. My toe hits a rock. That rock hits Charmaine. For a minute, Charmaine looks like she might fight, but she leaves without a word. I limp home, feet dragging, head hanging. I show mama the hole, she sighs. Oh baby girl, those shoes have to last. When parade day dawns, I'm making a banner with Dee Dee and Little Mo. Then Charmaine struts by like she's queen of the block. I scowl at her. 
Then I pick up the banner and nod to Dee Dee and Little Mo. Let's go. Thing is, that banner is bulky. No way I'll make it all the way to the parade. It might be easier if I run. I force my feet to move, but one block in, I can't go on. I hear the beats of feet. Wilma Rudolph, Wilma Rudolph. Charmaine is running by me. Pass that here, she says. I clutch the banner tighter. I don't need her help. Come on, says Charmaine. We'll do it like Wilma's relay. Three people ran it with her, you know. I hate to admit it, but she's right. I hand her the banner and she takes off for the next block. Then Dee Dee takes a turn and even Little Mo. We run faster and faster till our legs are nothing but a whirling blur, just like you know who's. People stare, eyes popping, fingers pointing. You go girls, someone calls. I sneak a look at Charmaine. Her feet are flying. Who's faster? I can't tell. But Charmaine isn't strutting or scowling. She looks happy. I don't mean to, but I smile. Charmaine smiles back. And all at once, I know shoes don't matter. Not as long as we've got our feet. Look, I say, the perfect spot. We collapse on the curb. There are flags, bands, noise, black faces, and white ones. And finally, a fancy convertible with the top down. Right there, holding a bunch of roses, is Wilma Rudolph. We scream and raise our banner, hearts pounding, heads hoping. Wilma sees us and smiles, then she waves. That makes Charmaine and me sashay like we own the sidewalk and everything on it. And maybe, just maybe, we do. Because we're the quickest kids in Clarksville, Tennessee. and everyone around here knows it. The end, good night.